Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be trying a new Samyang ramen flavor. Today's Samyang ramen flavor is... Kimchi Samyang ramen. Another treat from Samyang? Oh Samyang, you spoil us. Now these are the noodle soup type and authentic made in Korea. The flavor is Korean kimchi. As you can see, it is halal certified, so it is safe to eat for Muslims. This ramen comes in at 120 grams, which is a right amount of filling for the tummy. Let us check out the back of the packet. Here are the cooking instructions. I will follow these directions exactly as mentioned. Um, hello? I only found this one sachet of soup base. Is it a little sparse? I want more goodies! Now, the noodle block is a generous amount. Ingredients for the noodle block. Wheat flour, refined palm oil, modified tapioca starch, refined salt, emulsifier is soy lecithin, acidity regulator is potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, dibasic citric acid, thickener is guar gum, green tea flavor oil. These noodles are on the thin side, which is great because you'll get more soup. So let me show you the soup base powder. Now the powder has the color of kimchi spot on. It does not smell spicy at all. The soup base is kimchi powder, napa cabbage, salt, hot pepper powder, garlic, ginger, salt flavor enhancer, monosodium glutamate, disodium ribonucleotide, soy sauce powder, white sugar, mixed spicy powder, chili, garlic, onion, yeast powder, dried bok choy, red pepper powder, acidity regulator is malic acid, dried kimchi flakes, napa cabbage, salt, red pepper powder, garlic, ginger, dehydrated chives, black pepper powder, red pepper seed oil, paprika, nature identical garlic flavor, caramel powder. Allergen alert! These do contain wheat, gluten, and soy. Let's get to the kitchen and cook this up. Follow me. Now here I have 550 ml of water that's gonna go in. Let that come to a boil and then we're gonna add our noodles and the soup base. Let's add the noodles. No! Slowly untangle the noodles with a fork or chopstick so that it cooks evenly. And then the soup base. Give it another stir so that the soup base powder can mix very well with the water and doesn't get clumpy. Cook it for 4 minutes. See ya in 4 minutes. I'm setting the timer for 4 minutes. Whoop. Okay, back to 4 minutes. Start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's done. Hey, that rhymed. Time's up. They're ready. Yummy! Such a visual treat. Mmm, smells great. Time to eat! Okay, so it's very nice to see that there were bits floating in the soup. The noodles are also thin. The noodles are going to take their sweet time absorbing all the soup. It smells really great. The flavor is fine. The flavor is fine. Why am I saying it's fine? It is delicious, but it's just missing something. Now, it's missing heat. It's missing that spiciness. You know what Samyang flavor is known for. So this is not at all spicy. I think this is perfect for someone who doesn't like spicy foods. These noodles will be perfect for them. It is on the salty side and it's missing two things. First of all, it's missing, as I mentioned, spiciness. The second thing is the fermented pickly flavor. Where's that? Where's the umami? I have no idea what they have done to these noodles, but they have retained their firmness. They are so not soggy, they are not mushy, they are just so perfect and chewy. But again, this could be like a really good base uh, for a noodle dish. And then you could add like extra kimchi and then 
vegetables. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.